We are Smoke Jagger, strongest of the clans. We are hunters who fight with the ferocity of our namesake to stand unequaled amongst the children of Korinsky. We remember the bravery of our ancestors who gave themselves to the void and of the despots responsible for their exodus. Through our strength, we lead the Crusaders to see the Great Father's dream realized. His hidden hope to one day return and reclaim paradise. It is our sole purpose, our divine right. We will bring vengeance down upon the tyrants that enslave humanity. And they shall tremble before our might. There were no actual smoke jaguars hunting you in those jungles. No, I'm with Mia. I'd rather get torn apart by large cats than have to climb those damn gray mountain cliffs again. Grabby is lighter on this planet. Although you might want to watch your language, Liam. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Eyes up. Kick commander incoming. Kit Commander Ibrahim Ismail. This is Stalker Base, your new home for the final stretch of your Sibco training. Your cadre of the Elijah Hoyt and Abigail Ismail Sibco line has suffered numerous fatalities and washouts throughout your time on Lunderholm. Kit's Ezra. Jaden, Liam, Mia, Nasir. You five are the final vestiges of your brood that some deem might one day be of value to the clan. I am not one of them. To me, you five are the excrement of a failed semi-aborted batch from my bloodhouse. Far from the pinnacle of humanity demanded by the clan's geneticist that spawned you! I am a gracious host. So I will give you the opportunity to show me what those Stravix on Lunderholm taught you. Show me what you know of being a real true born mech warrior. And prove yourselves worthy of the name and heritage you carry with you. A suit up. Prepare for mech combat. But, sir, we just arrived. Did I ask you a question, kid? Mech warriors should be combat ready the second they hit Atmo. You surats able to be prepped and ready in the next 15 mics? Quee up! I have King Commander. You better get on it then. Dismissed. King Commander. We will not fail. Very brave. Very stupid. J. 
Jaden, you coming? I will catch up. You are currently behind the controls of mankind's premier weapon of war, a clan Omnimech. Although this is a training exercise, you are still controlling four stories of ferrous steel and Myomir muscles strapped to a fusion engine. More than enough power to kill and be killed. You will respect that fact while you live under my command. If you do not, I will kill you myself and spare the laborer cast your incompetence. Now, follow the Mark Nav route. That's all, kids. The last drill we'll ever have to run in this hellhole. I thought they would let us rest before tomorrow's trials. I hacked old One-Eye's message feed. He's still sore we've been outperforming his prized pupils. So this is his last attempt at trying to get us to wash out? That. Or soften us up for tomorrow's opponents to kill us for good. I still find it hard to believe that you got away with hacking the base's mail server. I'm not stupid. I just watch and observe. Not act on anything I find. They don't even know I've compromised the system. If you are not careful, that little hobby of yours will get you killed someday. Come on, S. You used to be a better hacker than me. Yeah, but when I was caught, I actually got punished for it. Command likely knows and is just letting you slide because you hold the founder's name. Not funny. <laughs> you know I hate that. And you know we all share his bloodline too, right? Oh. They don't treat any of you like you should be the second coming of Sakan Liam Ismero. Come on. This might be the last time we get to tease you about this. We will likely be ransomed to different galaxies when we make warrior. You never know. We might get lucky and serve in the same cluster. Hopefully we get lucky then. Anyways, let us get cleaned up and grab some chow. One last meal for the road. At least the food will be better when we are warriors. And for that reason alone, it will be worth it. What is that? Just finishing it up. Grey Ridge Mountains. Miss Link's training facility. From Launderholm? Yeah. I have not seen this logo since we left. What is with these five stars? Us. The last five surviving members of our original Sipco. Five of nearly a hundred. Is everything okay? <laughs> Kit Commander Ismiro refused my request to transfer to the science cast. Tomorrow, I will either become a warrior or wash out. Nasir, your performance is just as good as any of us. You will do fine. I only keep up because we work together as a team. I do not think I can do this on my own. Tomorrow will be just like any other day. One that we have trained our entire lives for. Doubt is the only thing standing in your way. Do not let it win. 
Spend some time in the sim pods tonight if you have to. I think I will. And when you finish, do mine up too. Just like yours. Really? Mm-hmm. That way a part of you will be right there with me for my trial. Well, thanks, Jaden. That means a lot. But good hunting tomorrow. You too. We will all be waiting for you on the other side. Jaden, ahead of you lies your trial of position. Your final test is a Sipco trainee that will show your true worth to the Smoke Jaguar clan. Three opponents await you. To be recognized as a warrior of the clans, you must best at least one kill or be killed. Success will secure your position as a warrior of the clans based on the number of mechs you destroy. Failure will forever see you expelled from the warrior caste, where you will instead find station as a common laborer. Do you understand the task that lays before you? Athkit Commander, I am prepared. Every cadet says that. Only you control your future, Jaden. And the real question is... What do you want from it? To rise above all. To take a blood name and lead my own cluster. In the name of Smoke Jaguar. Lofty goal indeed. One that many seek. If leadership is what you truly desire, then you must best at least two opponents to earn the rank of Star Commander. Two kills. Star Commander. It will be mine. We are Smoke Jaguar. True born warriors selectively bred for war over generations. Our destiny to one day return from exile and reclaim terror will not be handed to us. It will fall to those sharp enough to earn their place among our clan's warriors. May Karinsky look over your glorious rise, Kid Jaden. Good hunting. Today, the clan recognizes the ascension of its newest mech warrior into the Tumen. With two confirmed combat kills, yeah! I give to you Jaden Smoke Jaguar and demand you recognize him as a star commander. Jaden Smoke Jaguar. 
Report to Office 31 on B-Level, Sector 3. Look at you, Star Commander. Can't believe we all made it. Hey. Where is Nasir? Particle cannon to the cockpit. No time to eject. No. Who's as good as any of us? Nothing you could do, Jaden. The trial was something we all had to face alone. Kill or be killed. <sighs> I was worried I might not see any of you again. What are you all doing here? All of you, please, follow me. Half Star Colonel. I present to you, Galaxy Commander, Cordera Perez. Come join me. Star Commander. I invited you and your fellow Sibkin here because I was told by Kick Commander Ismeril that you four are exceptionally attuned to one another in the field. Is that an accurate assessment? Half Galaxy Commander. It is. Jaden Smoke Jaguar, in accordance with our ways, I, Galaxy Commander Cordera Perez, formally extend to you a ransom. In exchange for your enlistment under the banner of my Beta Galaxy, I offer to you a star of battle mechs for you to command as you see fit. And this is to be formed by your fellow Sibkin. All of you. Will you serve under my command? Bargained well, and done, Galaxy Commander. Excellent, excellent. Your new star will be assigned to the 362nd Assault Cluster. Under Star Colonel, Emily Wimmer. Welcome to the 362nd, the Silver Jaguars. And congratulations to you on a successful trial, Star Commander. Thank you, Star Colonel. I look forward to working with you and Galaxy Commander Perez for many years to come. Hmm. Likewise. I have a warrior, Naomi, that is in need of a new assignment. She will be your star's fifth point. I look forward to meeting her. <laughs> what perfect timing. Some fool of a clan has entered Huntress space looking for a fight. Hmm. Who do you think it is, Galaxy Commander? The Novacats. We won a series of trials against them recently. And Khan LaRue is looking for retribution. Star Colonel Dita, what clan dares challenge us in our home system? None, Galaxy Commander. Explain. A jump ship has materialized at Huntress's Nadir Point. But it is not clan in origin. How is that possible? matter of critical importance to the clans. Last month, an unidentified jump ship materialized at a pirate point above our capital on Huntress. After capturing the vessel and interrogating its crew, 
We have learned that this ship, this outbound light, originated from the inner sphere. Impossible! I assure you it is not. Capture of this vessel and the intel I am now forwarding to all of you points to one indisputable fact. The great houses of the Inner Sphere know the secret location of our home world. Now, it is only a matter of time before they bring their greed and their never-ending wars to our doorsteps. Great debate over our return to the Inner Sphere ends now. We must act! My gods, it is finally time for the children of Kerinsky to return home! me in. Yes, my con. All hands, we have completed our jump. Stand by for an announcement from Sakan Sarah Weaver. Centuries ago, our ancestors hurled themselves into the void, hoping to flee a war they knew would come. A war that would end up subjugating all of human space under the boots of the great houses of the inner sphere. Our ancestors' sacrifices became the foundation on which Kerensky's clans were formed. But their dream of one day returning home did not die with them. It lives in all of you, born from blood and steel to bring their hopes, their dreams, and their legacy back to the inner sphere. Today, our long journey through the Exodus Road has come to an end. Now, we begin the first stage of Operation Revival by laying claim to the outer periphery. We will tame this savage outback to use as our staging ground to bring vengeance down on the tyrants to rule over the inner sphere. And they shall tremble before our might. a status report on what the hell happened here. Now! Yes, Sakan. After securing the killer's base, we discovered that Valasek and his band of freeborn rats opted to rig numerous explosive devices and flee into Santander's wilds rather than face us in battle. Do we have any leads on where Valasek is hiding? We do. Although... It will be impossible for the 362nd to follow every lead at once. Assign the most promising leads to each of your unit commanders. 
Cast as wide a net as possible. Every hour this Valisec denies us our conquest, it risks giving our rival clans a head start in our race toward Terra. Ilkhan Showers expects this to be resolved in a timely manner. Prove to him that his faith is not misguided. Yes, Sakan. Yes, Liam? Liam! What? We need to talk. Liam, you are one of the most talented people I know. In and out of the cockpit. And I need you to stop getting baited into picking fights with command. What am I supposed to do? My entire life, they've treated me like I need to live up to the heritage of my namesake. But I never asked to be named after one of our clan's founders. Yeah, we know. Everybody knows. They know exactly how much this gets a rise out of you. Which is why they keep doing it. And every time you take the bait and lash out, you make some snide remark, or you talk like a freeborn laborer. And if I just roll over for them, do you think it's gonna get any better? Liam, you talked back to Sakan Weaver. Like a free birth. Does it ever cross your mind that your outbursts make us all look bad? Look. I know you're smarter than this. I know you talk the way you do because you want to get under people's skin. And I know deep down, you want to do great things. I want to do great things. On my own terms not chasing down the ghost of a man I've never known. I want that for you too, but you will never get the chance if you keep this up. All you do is drag us down into the mud with you. And I cannot have that in my star. Okay. I will clean up my language and be on my best behavior when on the job. But don't expect me to change when we're on R&R. &R. Someone has to keep you on your toes. I wouldn't have it any other way. 